Hi folks, I just received the the Magnum Energy battery monitoring kit and I came across a good deal with it. Originally I was gonna buy the Bogart Engineering Trimetric but with the added cost of wirings and the shunt and everything else it was kind of high but the good thing about it is that uh, you can use it with any system and any charge controller to measure the amount of the power you're letting into the batteries you're taking out out of the batteries or your inverter using uh, it's a good 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 product to go with but as I mentioned I came across the Magnum and the price was right so I ordered it here's what's in the box they got the sensor it has an LED and I was looking at the operation of it once I uh, get it installed I'll go through it with you guys it's not too big it's small and it's light there's the network connection port and the four wire interface port that this cable goes in for wire and the other two ends go to the shunt and you have to be careful connecting this to the shunt make sure you install it correctly and there are two extra holes here one is for the battery positive that requires a two amp fuse and the other one is the negative battery connection and the voltage sensing is automatic on it okay and here's the network cable it's just normal network cable nothing special about it and here's the manual with a couple of four screws and this adapter now you can connect the neck for cable to one of these ports and connect it directly to the meter because it has only one jack for connecting the ne network cable or you can use the cable directly from the shunt, the sensor to the green port of the inverter so here we have the shunt here that connects to the negative side of the your load it means negative side of my 24 volt will go in one end and negative side of the inverter go to the other end including the charge controllers negative sides so it can sense and send information to the display of incoming charge from the charge controllers and the solar relay and also any load that I may have so it can measure the income and outgoing traffic of the power used or added to the batteries I have 
couple of extra loads like two from my charge controllers they're not loads actually they're inputs and also the Ames 24 volt converter that converts the 24 volts to 12 for my uh, 12 volt loads that I have around the house including the lighting uh, charging my cell phones, tablets, flashlights, they're all are getting charged and so on. Um, let me grab a light. That cable right there to the right is the feed cable to the negative of the inverter so uh, most likely I would have to get that wire at the cable out and connect the shunt and then connect my negative side of the charge controllers two of them and this guy here and set it up but uh, I have to find out a place to install the shunt maybe I install the sensor up there on the wall or here on this leg and see how it goes for now I have two cables that will connect to my battery negative to shunt and then all my negatives loads from the inverter or incoming power from the charge controllers will connect to the other side so I may use this longer cable they're both two out gauge or maybe I make a boss bar I don't know yet I'll see how it goes I'll keep you guys posted please stand by okay everything is connected uh, here's the shunt one end goes to the negative of the 24 volt system and the other end the two charge controllers and the inverters are connected also my noisy uh, Ames converter connected to that shunt so I'm ready to fire up I installed the module right here with the connector plugged in both for the sensor from the module from the shunt and the network cable that goes to the network connection of the Ames inverter and the power connector the negative is this here of the 24 volt I have four banks of batteries they're all connected in parallel so this is one of the connectors if you see this cable the negative goes there and then to the negative of the other bank and then negative 
of the other bank and comes here again in a loop so they're all, that all the four banks are in parallel and the positive including a fuse is connected to the positive of the inverter knife switch so here we go I'm gonna turn the switch on they may be most likely there will be a big spark here that's the charge that the capacitors so so don't be alarmed but if you see a fire yes to be alarmed I hope there won't be a fire here we go that was the spark it wasn't as big as I expected nothing on the LED of the the module I'm gonna turn in the inverter on the inverter is on I still have no LED activity I don't know everything is connected based on the instructions so right now the inverter is searching and shows the voltage now let me connect the load because right now I have my load to the city electricity through this cable here so first I'm gonna unhook this one Okay, we have the compressor running on the freezer the little Alexa is coming around garage door opener is active the light is on let's try the rest of them Okay, my loads are on. Get this out of the way. I still don't have an LED on. Check that fuse. I may have a blown fuse here. Let me get another fuse. Stand by, please. Okay, I had a couple of bad fuses. And now, as you can see, the little LED is on, which hopefully means that we're good. So it's monitoring the power going in and out of the batteries right now 
Let's go to the mirror. Shows state of charge 100% and it's inverting. Meters. We're at 30.72 volts. The battery bank. Amps going into the batteries are about 10 amps. And when we draw amps off of the batteries, it will show a negative sign. Amp power, you just turn it on, it doesn't know yet. Amp power out. He doesn't know yet, I guess. Total amp hour out. Doesn't know yet, I guess. State of charge is 100%. Battery monitor is ready. Set up. Charge efficiency. Amp hours. Go to charge efficiency. It's auto. I guess I will leave it at auto. And I have the option of go up to 97 amp. 90, I'm sorry, 97 percent. Let's check that. Okay, battery monitor revision is one. Minimum DC, that's the batteries, are 30.68, maximum 30.73, I guess that's the only option I have here. Get ready. to technical see what it has there temperatures battery temperature sensor 77 degrees transformer 98 degrees FETs 87 automatic gas generator start I don't have so it seems that we're okay. Murder sure. Go to meter again. We're drawing about four amps. And the batteries are at thirty point four volt. We're at hundred percent on the batteries. Ready. I guess we're fully uh, maxed up. <coughs> Just have to wait and. I'll check it at night when there is no solar coming in and see what's going on. The 
you still have the green light good to go so we're okay all right guys talk to you later